Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Mr. Arthur Arthur three sixteen back on YouTube. Here to make a very very exciting video on YouTube. Uh, I'm gonna be making a video on my wrestling DVD collection. Yep, last time I did was probably around February, and now it's June, so I decided to just do it right now after all the DVD I just bought recently. So let's get to it. Now some of the DVDs are still in place while others are switched, so let's. The sequence might not be the same. So, the first three DVDs are the same as before. It was the history of the WWE Intercontinental, Intercontinental and the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, next is the Hulk Hogan Ultimate Anthology. And then here's the SummerSlam Anthology Volumes 1 and 2. Same for Survivor Series 1 and 2. You got Best of Raw 15th Anniversary. Uh, same for SmackDown 10th Anniversary. Uh, you got... The American Dream, The Dusty Road Story, great DVD. Uh, the Best of Saturday Night's Main Event, Starcade, The Essential Collection, Rise and Fall of WCW, Ladder Match, Hell in a Cell, Hulk Hogan's Unreleased Collector Series, McMahon, Ultimate Collection, Ric Flair DVD, as well as a Definitive Collection, uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, the life, and story, the life Story of the Dragon, uh, the Born to Controversy, The Ryder Ryder Piper Story, great, great DVD, highly recommend it. Macho Madness, The Randy Savage Ultimate Collection, sucks that he passed away a month ago, well he'll be missed. Uh, Heart and Soul, The Heart Family Anthology, as well as Bret Hart, The Best There Is, The Best There Was, The Best There Ever Will Be. These two are great DVDs, if you're a Heart fan, go ahead check these two out. Uh, the Legacy of Stone Cold Steve Austin. The Rock, the most electrifying man of sports entertainment. Shawn Michaels, Heartbreak and Triumph. Shawn Michaels, My Journey. The New and Improved D Generation X. Triple H, The King of Kings. Rey Mysterio, Biggest Little Man. Uh, Viva La Raza, The Eddie Guerrero Story, another great DVD, highly recommend it. Chris Jericho, Breaking the Code. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's a very good DVD right there. Uh, Jeff Hardy, My Life, My Rules. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't so good as well. John Cena, My Life. Edge, The Decade of Decadence. Uh, wrestling's, wrestling's Highest Flyers. Allied Power, World's Great Tag Team. Greatest Stars of the 80s as well as 90s. Uh, I don't know if you can see well back there, but it's Undertaker, The Deadliest Matches, and The Twisted and Disturbed Life of Kane. Alright, now from... From bottom to top, we got Twist of Fate, The Matter Jeff Hardy Story, John Cena World Life, De Before WWF Super Before They Were WWF Superstars Volume 1, Volume 2, uh, Shawn Michaels Boyhood Dreams, Kane Journey to Hell, uh, you got WWF Tough Enough, Undertaker 15 and 0, you all know he's 19 and 0 now, um, and then Rise and Fall of ECW, probably the best DVD in my collection, I'm not sure. Uh, next is uh, best, the Best of the Intercontinental Championship, very special DVD, it includes Gorilla Monsoon, Gorilla Monsoon doing commentary, which is very good, so you should check it out. Because this DVD was kind of was made like in the 1990s, so that's probably the reason why. It got released in 2004. Uh, Bloodsport, ECW's Most Violent Matches, From the Vault, Shawn Michaels Story, uh, great Shawn Michaels DVD. Mike, uh, Mick Foley's Greatest Hits and Misses, Ric Flair and the Four Horsemen, Four Horsemen, Best Tag Team Ever, Best DVD Ever, One of the Best DVD Ever. Brock Lesnar, Here Comes the Pain, Wasn't That a Good DVD. Uh, Chee and Dusty and Life the Eddie Guerrero Story, Wasn't Bad, But It Should Have Been Better. Rey Mysterio 619, Pretty Entertaining, and Trish Stratus, 100% uh, Satisfaction Guaranteed, Great DVD. Um, yeah, Undertaker, He Buries Them Alive, Tombstone, History of the Undertaker, by far the best Undertaker DVD ever made. Uh, this will come to second place, Undertaker, This Is My Art, WWF, Undertaker, This Is My Art. This is WWF, Stone Cold, What? Uh, Stone Cold, The Stone Cold Truth. It, it also came out in the book. It was released in the book, and they released in DVD as well. Uh, WWE, because Stone Cold said so, pretty bad DVD. Bloodsport, Wrestling's Most Incredible Steel Cage Matches, 
Triple H the game, another great DVD. You learn a lot, a lot about Triple H in this. Well, not a lot about Triple H, but you learn a lot about what happened in the years 2000, 2001, 2002, around that time. Uh, this is the best Hardy Boys DVD. It's called WWF Hardy Boys Leap of Faith. I got it from Amazon for $13. You saw my pickup of it. It's a very good DVD. Highly recommend it. Um, over here you got uh, 20 Years Too Soon, the superstar Billy Graham story. Uh, the Self-Destruction of the Ultimate Warrior, great DVD. The Monday Night Wars, another great DVD. You learn a lot about the Monday Night War, obviously. Uh, the Three Faces of Foley, one of, one of the most charismatic stars in the business, in my opinion. Uh, along with The Rock. Here comes another Mick Foley DVD. It's WWF Mick Foley Hard Knocks and Cheap Pops. Here's Hard Knocks of Chris Benoit's story, another great DVD. Highly recommend it. Uh, especially since it's very rare because um, after Chris Benoit's death, they kind of stopped selling it for some reason. But they still sell it on Amazon.com, so you can get it from there around 20 bucks. Here's RVD, one of a kind. Uh, the D Generation X DVD. Uh, uh, what's this? Uh, yeah, it's a, the WrestleMania Anthology Volume 4, which consists of WrestleMania's 2000 to, two, to 20. So that is from year 2000 to 2004. Alright, so on my next shelf, we got, I don't know if you can see clearly, but you got WrestleMania 15 on your left. Then you got WWF SummerSlam 1999. I did not show a DVD review on it or a uh, pickup. I thought it would be a surprise if I just show you right now. Uh, WWF Royal Rumble 2000, WWF King of the Ring 2000, WWF SummerSlam 2000, and WWF Survivor Series 2000. Going on to 2001, you got Royal Rumble, WrestleMania 17, which is the best WrestleMania in my opinion, and the best pay-per-view in my opinion, uh, in my collection. You got Judgment Day 01, King of the Ring, Invasion, SummerSlam, Unforgiven, No Mercy, Rebellion, Survivor Series, Vengeance. Going on to 2002, you got Royal Rumble, No Way Out, which was my first ever WWF pay-per-view in on DVD. WrestleMania 18, Backlash 2002, Insurrection 2002, King of the Ring, you all know this is the first ever WWE DVD I got. Global Warning Tour, SummerSlam, Unforgiven, No Mercy, Rebellion, Survivor Series, and Armageddon. Going on to 2003, you got Royal Rumble, No Way Out, WrestleMania 19, Backlash, Judgment Day, uh, Bad Blood, Vengeance, SummerSlam, Unforgiven, No Mercy, Survivor Series, Armageddon. Which makes a big puzzle piece for 2003. Really sick puzzle piece. Uh, going on to... Two, oh, and you got Insurrection over here. To, of 2003. Okay, and then you got Royal Rumble 04. No Way Out 04. WrestleMania 20. Backlash. Judgment Day. Bad Blood. The Great American Bash, which was the first ever Great American Bash pay-per-view, by the way. Uh, Vengeance. SummerSlam. Unforgiven. No Mercy. Taboo Tuesday. Survivor Series. Armageddon of 04. Uh... No, now going to 05, you got New Year's Revolution, Royal Rumble, No Way Out, WrestleMania 21, Backlash, Judgment Day, ECW One I Stand 05, which is a great DVD, Vengeance 05, great pay per view. And by the way, before I show the rest, I just want to, I just want to tell you that these were the three tickets that I have from the three shows I've been into, which were Survivor Series, SmackDown slash ECW, and uh, WWE Super Show, which was before Royal Rumble 08. Alright, back to the DVD collection. You got the Great American Bash 05, Summer Slam 05, Unforgiven, No Mercy, Tabo Cheese, Survivor Series, Armageddon, all 05. By the way, uh, No Mercy, the final pay per view with Eddie Guerrero, which means a lot to me. Uh, 06 is New Year's Revolution, Royal Rumble, No Way Out, WrestleMania 22, Backlash, Judgment Day, ECW When I Stand, which is probably the best pay per view of 2006 uh, due to the fact that. RVD won his first ever WWE title from this pay-per-view and against uh, my one of my least favorites, John Cena. Vengeance 06, Grand American Bash, SummerSlam, Unforgiven, No Mercy, Cyber Sunday, Survivor Series, ECW, December to Dismember, which shouldn't even be a pay-per-view, by the way. Armageddon 06. Going on to 2007, you got New Year's Revolution, Royal Rumble, No Way Out, WrestleMania, Backlash, Judgment Day, One I Stand, Vengeance Not a Champions, the Great American Bash, SummerSlam, Unforgiven, No Mercy, 
Cyber Sunday, Survivor Series, Armageddon, the pay-per-view where Chris Jericho returned. Very special. Uh, next is Royal Rumble 08, No Way Out 08, WrestleMania 24, Backlash, Judgment Day, One I Stand, Night of Champions, Great American Bash, SummerSlam, Unforgiven, No Mercy, Cyber Sunday, 2000, uh, Cyber Sunday, Survivor Series 2008, the, the night, the pay-per-view I attended, and Armageddon 08. Going out to 2009, you got Royal Rumble, No Way Out, WrestleMania 25, Backlash, Judgment Day, Extreme Rules. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, you got The Bash, Night of Champions, SummerSlam, Breaking Point, the only Breaking Point, which is very sad because the pay-per-view Breaking Point was very interesting. All submissions, submissive. Some, yeah, I think it's submissive. I don't know. Submission matches. I don't care. Okay. Um, you also got Hell in a Cell, which is probably the worst pay per view name ever, or the pay per view itself. Horrible. Bragging rights, Survivor Series, and TLC. Going on to 2010, you got Royal Rumble, Elimination Chamber, WrestleMania 26, Extreme Rules, Over the Limit, Fatal 4 A, Money the Bank, SummerSlam, Night of Champions, Hell in a Cell. Bragging rights, Survivor Series, and TLC. Now, going on to 2011, I only got three pay-per-views for that. I got Royal Rumble 2011, Elimination Chamber 2011, and WrestleMania 27. Alright, going on to TNA DVDs, I got Kurt Angle Champion, I got Bound for Glory 2007, Final, Des Final Resolution 2008, uh, TNA Sacrifice, I believe this is 2009. No Surrender, 2009. Genesis, 2010. Lockdown, 2010. Sacrifice, 2010. Slammiversary 8, 2010. Bound for Glory, 2010. And Genesis, 2011, which was a debut of Matt Hardy. Alright, going on to other DVDs for wrestling. You got WWE Biggest Knuckleheads. Which is okay. Not a bad DVD. Pretty good. Uh, John Morrison Rockstar. Which is very entertaining. WWF Action. Which is way entertaining. Uh, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Hulk Still Rules. Great DVD. Uh, the Life and Times of Mr. Perfect. One of the most underrated DVDs ever. You should check it out. Got to check it out. It is worth the money you spend. Uh... Here's a documentary called Hitman Heart, Wrestling with Shadow. It's basically a documentary where they talk about uh, the Montreal Screwjob and the life and death of Owen Hart. And if you guys want to make me, if you want, if you guys want me to make a DVD review on this, I will be glad to do so because this DVD is just the most interesting DVD ever. You can learn so much. Um, it's basically two separate DVDs on these two different topics. If you want me to give a DVD review on it, just tell me in the comment box, okay? Or for any other DVDs you just saw previously, just tell me in the comment box and I'll review it, alright? Alright, let me just put this aside. Alright. You also got uh, Brian Pillman, Loose Cannon. I didn't enjoy it that much, but it was okay. Um, you learn a lot. The Triumph of Tragedy of WCCW, another DVD where you can learn a lot. Uh, la uh, one Last Stand DX The newest DVD of DX Probably the last one Hopefully because the past two DX DVD Weren't that good uh, The True Stories of Wrestlemania A very very good DVD You'll learn so much Just so much It's very interesting uh, Top 50 Superstars of All Time Very good DVD I love Countdowns Especially with the The, the Raw 15th anniversary and SmackDown 10th anniversary. Those three DVDs are like one of my top favorites. Uh, you got The Big Show at Giants World, which is a very good DVD as well. They show a lot of great matches at WCW, where Big Show was known as The Giant. Uh, you got Batista, I Walk Alone. You learn a lot from him. Um, John Cena, The John Cena Experience, another good DVD, even though I hate this guy. He does, you know, he is pretty famous and popular and etc and his DVD is really entertaining this is very good here's uh, the best of Raw 2010 and the best of Smackdown from 2009 to 2010 you got um, Raw the beginning the best of seasons 1 and 2 I hope they make 3 and 4 I think they are I don't know but uh, 
yeah, it's a very good DVD. A lot of great footage is in this DVD. Uh, Jake the Snake Robbers, Pick Your Poison. Very underrated. It comes with a book as well. And here's a Raw 10th Anniversary, which is the worst DVD you could possibly get. Uh, it also came with this case for some reason. I don't know why, so I just keep like that. And, yeah, so that's basically it, guys. That's my DVD collection. I got some other stuff on the bottom, like my... Uh, cards, uh, my encyclopedia book, and all my VHS, and other things that have nothing to do with wrestling, except for that. That's a tap out, you know, uh, antique or whatever you want to call it. And I'm all, I, you can also say that I'm on Team Brigitte. Yeah, this came with the WrestleMania thing, with a DVD. So, that's basically all my DVD collection, guys. So I just want to give you guys the far view. On the back, yep. So that's like the first shelf, second shelf, third shelf, fourth shelf. Basically, my shelf is packed, so I might have to buy a new shelf. So once I do around August, then I'm gonna, you know, separate the DVDs and like I can show you guys how it will look like. And it will, it will come right over here. So I'll remove all those to put my second shelf. And by the way, I just want to show you guys the top of my shelf. I got a lot of action figures, like Seamus unboxed action figure my mom got me that for my birthday along with other stuff uh, I'm gonna keep it like that uh, in case if I get the chance to meet Sheamus you know one of my favorite wrestlers today get his autograph you got the Undertaker with the world title you got the NWO version of Hulk Hogan with the NWO of WCW title uh, Ted DiBiase action figure I got that same day where I um, met The Miz as well as this um, the Survivor Series box with Edge and Christian autograph signed uh, you also got Bret the Hitman Hart with the classic WWF title as as well as Stone Cold's action figure I got this from a friend I don't know why but it even has Stone Cold's autograph on it on the leg but you can't see it from here and here's a classic Chris Jericho action figure you know WWE entrance it's a very cool action figure the, the first day he came to the WWE so that's basically it guys, that's my DVD collection, what's around my shelf and etc. And tell me what you guys think about my collection, comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, if you want me to give a DVD review someday on either one of those DVDs you saw, especially the Hitman Heart one, then go ahead and tell me in the description box, the comment box, and uh, I'll, I'll you know, send you a message back, okay? So that's all for now guys. And... Remember to take your vitamin, drink your milk, and be Hulk Hogan. I don't know. Anyway, that's all for now, guys. See you guys next time. Peace.